Okay, gas stoichiometry is very similar to the regular stoichiometry, except we are now incorporating in volumes of gases at standard temperature and pressure. So our typical chart was just the bottom part. We had molecules or grams of A. We would do the multimole -mole ratio, and then we could convert to molecules or grams of B. But now we can add in volumes if we are dealing with gases that are at standard temperature and pressure. At standard temperature and pressure, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters of any gas. If it's not at standard temperature and pressure, then we can't do this, then we'd have to use the ideal gas law. So all of the problems for gas stoichiometry in this class are going to be at standard temperature and pressure. So here is a sample problem. Calculate the number of moles of phosphorus, question mark, moles of phosphorus, needed to react with four liters of hydrogen gas at 273K and 1 atm. This is STP, or standard temperature and pressure. This portion of the problem is just informational. And it's to verify it's at STP. If this was given at a different temperature or pressure, then we couldn't use it. So what we're actually doing is converting between liters of this to moles of that. So we have four liters of H2. We're gonna do liters of H2 to moles of H2 because we have to get to that mole to mole ratio to convert to our new substance. From moles of H2, we can convert to moles of our new substance, and that's where it wants us to stop. It wants us to get to moles of P4. So for this one, one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is equal to 22.4 liters. And that's right on the chemistry aid sheet under gas stoichiometry. For this one, this is our multiple ratio, so we're going to use coefficients from the problem. So there's one of this, and there's six of this. And now we're just going to solve, multiply across the top, divide away the bottom. So we have four divided by parentheses, 22.4 times six, close the parentheses, and we end up with 0 0.0298 moles. Okay. So go ahead and try to solve this one. Pause the video and then we'll work through it together. All right, what volume of oxygen, question mark, liters at STP, that's just informational, is needed to react completely with 3.2 grams of C2H6. So we're going from grams of this to liters of that. So we're gonna start 3.2 grams of C2H6. We know that we have to get to moles of this substance. From moles, we can do our mole to mole ratio, moles C2H6 to moles of our new substance, our oxygen gas. And then from moles of our oxygen gas, it wants liters. So one mole is equal to the calculated mass from the periodic table. We have two carbons. Let me get the exact masses here, 12.011. Plus we have six hydrogens. So 
So we have 2 times 12.011 plus 6 times 1.008. 30.07 grams. Now our multiple ratio, we're going to use the coefficients from the problem. There's two of this and seven of that. So two and seven. And over here, one mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters. We're going to multiply across the top and divide away the bottom. Three point two times seven times twenty two point four divided by parentheses thirty point seven times two eight point three four. liters. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try to work through this one. Okay, how many moles of oxygen gas, question mark, moles, are used up during the reaction with 18 liters of CH4. 18 liters of CH4. So we're going from liters of this to moles of that. 18 liters of CH4. Liters of CH4, we gotta get to moles of that to get to our mole to mole ratio. From moles of that, we can go to moles of our new substance. And that's where it wants us to end. One mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters. Then we have our mole to mole ratio. There's a number one in front of the CH4 and a number two in front of the O2. We're gonna multiply across the top, divide away the bottom, and we end up with 1.61 moles. All right, and you can go ahead and try this one. Calculate the volume of nitrogen, question mark, liters, needed to react with nine liters of hydrogen gas. So we have nine liters of H2 we have to get to moles, so liters of H2 to moles of H2. Now that we're at moles, we can do our mole to mole ratio, moles of H2 to moles of N2. And from moles of N2, it wants us to take it to liters of N2. So one mole of any gas at STP is equal to 22.4 liters. Now we're gonna do our mole to mole ratio. There's a number one in front of the N2, a number three in front of the H2. And here we're gonna do the same thing. One mole of any gas is equal to 22.4 liters. We're gonna multiply across the top, divide away the bottom, and we get three. Liters. All right, go ahead and pause the video and work through this one. Okay, so here we have what volume of sulfur dioxide gas, question mark, liters, will react with 12 liters of oxygen. So we have 12 liters of oxygen we have to get to moles of oxygen. Of 
from moles of oxygen, we get to moles of SO2, and it wants us to take it all the way to liters of SO2. One mole is equal to 22.4 liters at STP. We are going to use the ratios here, so two and a one, and then one mole is 22.4 liters. So we get 24 liters as our answer.